Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Dear Young Wife with the wonderful Temi Odunsi Fadina. Yeah, and uh, Chef Daniel well, Lurie. Because you've been gymming. Have I been gymming? Yes, no. now. <laughs> can you excuse me? Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop okay, it. <laughs> um, I'm really happy today. I'm always happy. Um, so, last week, guys, how was your week? A lot of things have been going on. Social media has been going crazy. Yeah. Literally. So, <laughs> so everything's just been, you know, going like up, down, back, forth, left, right, side, center, everything. And Tommy has been really happy recently because my very good friend has been making her very happy. So that makes always, me happy as, as well. Always. As always. Okay, so on the last episode, we spoke about um, a couple of things in relationships and um, we touched on the topic of defining roles in our last um, last last week's episode um, so today we're going to be there's going to be sort of a continuation on today's episode and the next episode as well about this you know um, what happens in marriages in marriage what do you do who does what what happens here and there and uh, today we're going to be talking about the another aspect another spectrum of a relationship I mean leading from the friendship to the courtship to the marriage to the after marriage hmm. and neglecting the bond hmm. so hmm. when you talk about neglecting the bond what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so i'm trying to like be serious here and you're giving me hmm, neighbors he neglected the bond <laughs> mommy oh, she abandoned my love okay, okay. what is the bond you know when you talk about bond in a relationship um bond is something that brings the both of you together to work towards a common ground mm -hmm. and now your common ground normally starts off with love and then through love you start having elements of things like children um, financial commitments or joint accounts um, properties um, family the two families come together as one well, when you talk about bond what I think about is things you used to do before like yes. things that actually brings you two together exactly so like, why did you start the relationship why were you interested in your boyfriend then yeah those things yeah. why was i interested in my well that's, that's a that's a, well sometimes you you're in a relationship that is open to end, end well in the marriage, marriage exactly yeah. so when you talk about the relationship i want to be in what what why am i with her you know am i with her because what 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 is what, why is the bond being created? So when you talk about a bond being created, she's definitely doing stuff, she's definitely doing things. She's ne she's definitely writing stuff, saying things, acting different ways that has made me interested in her. So through that, my heart is growing fonder to her, to liking her. So the bond is being created. I'm getting to really like this person. On the flip reverse, she's getting to really like me because I, I text her, I take her out for her favorite pizza, to her favorite pizzeria, I take her out to the movies, we go shopping, we go to the market together. And all of a sudden you get married and all of that changes. And it changes. The baby comes. I mean, even before the baby comes, okay, so for example, with, with you, you and your husband, I use that as a reference, it was easier for me. Um, you, guys, you guys used to go out. Wedding, you're doing stuff to get her attention. You know, you might wear the best suit and spray the best perfume, the best aftershave. You 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 surprise her, you buy her flowers, it's not her birthday, you get her cakes and cupcakes, it's not it's not her it's not your anniversary, you're taking her to Abuja to yeah, Tokyo. you guys are going out on trips and all of that and all of a sudden And all of a sudden you married her and then you, you don't have time kids. for her anymore. And then no time, you're just hanging out with the boys all the time and the worst of all, you <laughs> come home drunk. Okay, so he comes home drunk. I mean this is a this is a very interesting topic because this now has two two angles. But the first angle for me, guys, 
you can't stop doing the things you used to do for her before you married well, her. Well, you know, women are also guilty about this too. Because when you have kids and they work and everything, you don't want to have sex anymore. Not just sex. It's not all about sex, 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 yeah. No, well, it's important. It's yes. part of it. It's but vital. What I'm talking about is sometimes you don't want to do things like, like you said, women get comfortable. Even the women. There's you don't want to do your jam. hair. You don't want to. You know, do makeup, but you don't want to like you yeah. know those things that you normally do. Shave down there. They don't shave anymore. No, yes, yeah, because oh. can, you get you, you get. <laughs> I've seen a lot of friends no, that well, that are yourself. married, like they're married, and then you go to the bathroom and maybe you pay, and then they try to bring out that. Like, what is that? <laughs> no. Like, what is that? Oh, I beg, I beg. Who has time? Who has time? Who has, has time now? No. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, they put down to the down there. And I'm like, no. are you two? That's not fair. Like, how are you not doing, like... The nasty. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I, see, women, you can't... So when the guys yeah, outside... But guys also are guilty of that, too. Well, not shaving. Men... Yeah, no, it's you know, the thing that you normally Men do don't to shave keep it... Now. Who told you they don't shave? We trim, we don't shave. I beg, I like guys shave. Like shave the everything shave. down there. Let it go. I like don't a, like, like a bald head. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, so, so if, if the guy used to shave in the beginning and he stopped shaving, yeah, and then, then the he woman, just kind of lets himself go. Why do people let themselves go? I don't understand. Why do they let themselves go? Like, you what know, happens? life happens. I just realized that um, a lot of women, a lot of girls mm. have this. Before they marry, go. They make an effort. That's the two year marriage goal. Some women give themselves that two year, three year marriage goal. I have goal. to find a husband. I'm yeah. gonna do everything. I'm gonna it takes. Get, yeah, so within this time. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my nails. Yeah, gonna... within this time, so this time, I have to get married. I think that's and quite then, yeah, yeah, and then they're believing God or believing whatever to get married. And so they, and they have make an a, effort as well. Yeah, so they have that three years goal of getting the other so when the when the when the boyfriend comes and the fiance comes within that three years you know they do everything for that three mm -hmm. year goal after that three year goal is done it's just like a goal just ticked off your list and then mm. you, you don't even know you don't have any next goal do you understand How so to keep they the see, marriage yeah so there is it's always about before and right on the altar before the reality start to occur to them that like, oh okay 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 this is not the guy I even married oh I'm just beginning to see some things because we mm. get so we women get so carried away by our three year marriage goal yeah you get what I mean or two year marriage goal one year marriage goal for some people like, that we don't look deep we don't see yeah that we have to be married mm. by this time this time Betsy. you know <laughs> <laughs> exactly or twenty five or whatever yeah before all those goals and when they've got it to twenty one ah, four years to go. They got to into, ah, three years to go, three years to go. So they have that. So as opposed to as opposed to having mm. a lifetime goal, you are having a, a two short year goal. short term goal. So it's always very difficult when people have that. You just kind of go back to who you were and what you were doing. Do you understand the and real you? Will and come that's out. and that's not why the and guy fell in love with you. Yeah, exactly, and that's why a lot of men and a lot of uh, single men, uh, mm. but I've interviewed, I've talked to. Yeah are scared of, the of, marriage. of marrying so when they see all these fine girls in uh, Owa and Bear at the weddings, weddings and, and everything they look, look at them they're looking all nice and, but and all of that something else. yes and then like a lot of them a lot of them as you're seeing them like they have a three year goal they have, some of them have a one year goal that you have to fall mm. into their plan you okay. get, so a lot of guys kind of redraw yeah, from I think, that I think for me I mean you know this about me one of, <laughs> <laughs> one of the I mean it's should I say it what the whole hair thing get out <laughs> <laughs> but do you have to go back there okay let's do the, let's the hair thing is it. about preference John, let's talk about it but but why do you girl you guys i say you girls you guys yeah. you expect girls to be shaved down they're all cleaned up all balded bald balded <laughs> balded no, I, down there no, but, but you guys now want to say you're trimmy what's that you don't want to do we took it somebody Okay, no, no, but but how 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 did I meet you, and how do you like it? For me, I have to do that. So for my wife, when we're dating, she might say, "Okay, your chest is smooth. I like it smooth. I don't like it hairy. I can't then go after we get married. I then don't 
have a smooth chest anymore or my chest is very hairy and she's like oh the hair is so much i like it and then when we marry and i was like shaving it you have to continue it's a continuity of where you started from but one a problem i have which is a very honest problem and if my wife should be is watching this you should take notes um i'm not asking you to put on makeup every day at home even when you're at home you know i love the natural beauty and i want you to be natural at home but a problem i have and i think it's because of my mom and my sisters because we didn't i mean i, I didn't grow up used to it so all of a sudden you see your your wife or your yeah no let me say wife because when you're dating they would pretend and you know do everything so you then get married to this woman you know every time her hair is like really nice and amazing and you know perfect and one day you come back from work <laughs> she goes back from work as well and she's just like but and pulls it off you always say that i i think it's not realistic really not, honestly why because i'm guilty of that too every <laughs> time you say that my eyes are always like this my eyes are like, uh, but, okay. i'm not always like this so i don't get this so if, so why don't you, you why don't you do the other one where which the, other one the, 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 the stitch it the weave on yeah the weave on so so you can this you can't you bet. can't just come it's no and that's your preference you can't just do you understand like when, when i was dating you like the same thing for men and women when i was dating when we we're together your head i never saw you do this and all of a sudden you have the shoe <laughs> <laughs> and now i get married to you i'm upset i'm actually upset right now and then i get married to you and all of a sudden you think it's okay you think you actually you 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 think it's okay just to come into the room and just do this and peel your hair off i'm not going to be attracted to you anymore so that's your bond right so well that's your bond that's what keeps you that's, guys together yeah because in the beginning if i saw you <laughs> i wouldn't have married you <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I would have married you the same way they want me to come home and take you out and love you and. But wait, um, how do you explain? And when, not be fat. Okay, chill. How do you explain when you normally take us out? Like the guy normally takes the girl out yeah. all the time. They're always going out. They're always having fun. Yeah. So much fun, and all of a sudden they got married, and then all of that stopped. That's wrong. See. That's but but why? Why does it happen? What, what excuse do you have? It happens to because you? they get comfortable. That's the thing I'm talking about. But like, you can go out to your friends that will carry other girls and then you'll be chilling with friends with girls and extra girls, extra young girls. Yeah, but I'm committed and, to you. Yeah, I know, but why can't you take your girl out? out? Now, I'll take you. No, for me, guys that don't take their wives out, you take your wife out in the beginning, all of a sudden you stop taking her out. That's wrong. Because she's going to feel like, oh, what you don't What is the look. explanation? Because I want to know what... People what? just get comfortable that, oh, she doesn't want to go out. Maybe they, they have children now and they don't go out anymore. See, I have a client. Like, this is one of my best clients ever. She's married. She lives in Banana Island. She has a very cool husband and two, two boys. Her boys are like maybe six and eight. She has her me time. She goes on holiday. She's like, I'm going to London by myself. To have my me time because when you met me i used to go to london by myself so don't think because there's two boys now i'm going to stay at home and no 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 and he does the same thing he goes to france with his friend and it's the way it was they have the date nights they have the nanny like on like every religiously every thursday cinema every every where my husband is by six o'clock he's running home and that's what it should be you can't say, oh, because we have two kids. No, it's, that's just an excuse. You know, you guys need to make it perfect. You need to make it work for each other. Um, I hope we've been able to share our little personal stories. <laughs> yes, or with so much passion. Whatever it is um, <laughs> with you. And um, if you haven't subscribed to our uh, YouTube channel, please do so. It is... At Dear Young Wife. Our Instagram page. At Dear Young Wife. Now, Young Wife. Thank you so much, guys, Thank for watching. You. Catch up the next episode, uh, episode of Dear Young Wife. Till then, take care, look after yourselves, and remain safe.